On the way for a bit when I'm back Nobody say my name on the track When I get nervous, when I stop murking Scan round five when I'm under attack Should've thought twice before you open your trap I'm Coming to a nuclear war with this strap You can tell me to shut up, we we'll both say shut up When I say shut up, I get a plaque What's going on guys, Cam Green Fitness here If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button And leave this video with a like So today's going to be a physique update As well as some exercises to train your abs I know a lot of you have been asking for that so the main thing to remember with abs is that you build them with training but then you reveal them with a low body fat and a good diet. So before we get into training, I'm going to break down the four muscle groups that are involved in your abs section. So you have external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis and the rectus abdominis. And the key thing to remember with your obliques, it's usually involved in a twisting motion. So in terms of your rep ranges when training abs, a study by Hagmark et al in 1979 actually showed that the abs contain type 1 and type 2 fibres. So you need to be mixing up the rep ranges between high and low to make sure you're fully training them. Also when training abs, opinion on weight load varies massively. But a study by Maurice et al in 2009 actually showed that muscle activation in the abs increases when working anything above 40% of your one rep max. I know it can be quite hard to monitor your one rep max when training abs, but it just shows that weight load when included with abs training actually does increase muscle activation. So you can recruit more muscle fibres and in turn increase muscular growth. So I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to break down a couple of ab exercises for you that you should include in your routine and then I'm going to do a physique update at the end. So I'm going to be monitoring my body fat uh, and also checking my weight. So for the first exercise we're going to replicate the one that was used in the study that showed increased muscle activation in the abs. So we're going to do either a crunch or a sit up but we're going to add resistance in the form of a kettlebell or possibly even a medicine ball. Um, we're going to balance the weight just on the top of our chest and we're going to bring it up and the added weight load actually targets the type 2 fibres in your abs and I found it makes it a lot harder if you accentuate the eccentric portion so three second downward phase. So the next exercise that we're going to do is a personal favourite of mine, it's one I've been doing for a while and these are called Russian twists. So you're going to get in the V crunch position, if you find this is a little bit too difficult for you then you can actually plant your feet on the floor to make it a little bit easier. You're going to take a medicine ball or even a kettlebell and you're going to swing it side to side and it's going to really target your obliques. And the final exercise is one that I've only just started using in my programme. You're going to grab a decline bench and you're going to do a couple of different sit up variations. So you're going to take it in turns, you can go straight forward, then you can twist to the left, twist to the right, uh, and the twists are going to target your obliques, whilst the main section of your abs is actually targeted by the straight forward silk. Uh, and then as you can see by the progression here, you can potentially use a medicine ball again or a kettlebell, and then you can also accentuate the eccentric portion again, just to really get that stretch. And it is a killer. To create the distance. Yeah, yo, let me kill it though. Okay. Sick of all the love songs. Yeah, I think I'm done with that. So I had to make a beat so they could really hear me rap. You don't wanna hear me snap. If you think you better, well, then please step up the bat. Otherwise, just take it back. Freestyle on a road trip. Put up your best and I'll roast it. Fall so hard that the boys on your club notice. You know this. Shout out to Rudy, he came to me. Cloudy nights, it's yours truly. It's Chief Mikey, it's Tree. Oh man, that's my crew. We keep moving. So yeah, oh yeah. Y'all don't wanna see it This is what I had to do to make y'all believe it So what you gonna do? I just made a move I'm the only one that's got nothing left to lose Yeah, Walking through the city, running out of time A villain just a villain till you read between the lines I tried to be the hero but I'm going on my mind I had to see the dark before I stepped inside the light Yeah So I finished the gym, uh, trained back and I've trained abs as you've just seen. Uh, now it's ready to take my weight um, and I'll show you the little device that we use to measure body fat. So we'll see how much we're weighing. Right, so now I'll show you the little device we use to measure body fat. Uh, and it's BIA, which stands for Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis. So it's a nice little device, all you do is put in your height, your weight and also your age. Uh, whether you're male or female, and then you just hold it out in front of you and it calculates your body fat. So it's come up as 13.5. If you can focus on that. So obviously, BIA isn't the gold standard. Uh, the gold standard for measurement is a DEXA scanner. Um, so you sit inside a scanner and it scans all your bone density and stuff. Um, but because it's a local gym facility, this is kind of the only uh, measurement we've got. So as long as you stick with the same method of measurement uh, and track your progress off that, um, you should be able to see if you're making improvements. I know you're the freak in the bed, yeah. I know that you want to sing again. I 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. It does help out massively. And uh, stay tuned for the next video because me and a friend were doing some MMA sparring today and a professional wrestler turned up. So I ended up sparring with him and that'll be in the next vid. Peace!